everyone doing today? I'm SK of course and I have a beautiful new toy for the yard. This is a Black & Decker 3-in-1. That's right, this baby does it all. It blows, it vacs, and it mulches. This is going to be a perfect tool for a decent sized yard. We already have an actual backpack blower, but sometimes you have somebody helping you out. Maybe they don't want to just use a rake. Well this will definitely help them get the piles in order a little bit better and then be able to suck it all up, mulch it if you need to bag it or whatever you need to do. The other thing this is great for is little corners like I have back here, which I'm about to demonstrate in a minute, where it's kind of hard to blow it all out and it's very nice to just jam this baby in and just get the job done. So I'm gonna really enjoy this. Kind of reminds me of like one of those big super soakers or something, uh, but of course it is not. It is a blower and we are about to see how well it blows and how well it backs right now. This is the blower attachment by the way, and I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like all around and then after I'm done with the demonstration, I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's get started. All right, and before we get started, be sure to subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell. That All right, now that you got a look at this thing, I'm not gonna go over full operation, but I just wanna show you a few things. Few things. You can see you got your little power button down here. The circle is for off. Then you got two different levels. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, you got a pretty heavy duty cord here and your strap just links up above. You got a nice handle there. You got a nice handle here. And you actually got one over here too if you wanna hold it upside down while you're carrying it or something. So. This baby does 250 miles per hour. That's not too bad. Let's see how she does. All right, I got my cord all set and I'm gonna work on this little area right here. So usually we gotta open this all up, kind of try to blow it and rake it out. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let her rip. So turn the dial on one. I'm gonna start on the lowest setting and see how she does. All right, so there's the first setting and you see it cleaned that area up perfectly. There's nothing left in that area. And the only thing I had to do was just shake it a little, get it all go in. But I mean, that was just a few seconds. So now I'm gonna turn it up on the high setting and let you watch how it does on the rest of this stuff here. For the final blower test, I just want to show you right inside these blocks here. Hopefully this picks up. There's some leaves down in there, so I just want to show on the highest setting how well it does. Alright, now I got the blower on, so let's see how we do. All right, and this is an actual blow test without any obstruction. All right, so honest opinions about this bad boy. Well, I'm sure if you watched through the whole video, you could see some, uh, some positives and some negatives, and I'm gonna go over those right now. The negatives is the cord. I'm not quite sure why this connector piece doesn't have like the little ground, the third part at the bottom, um, but if it had that, it would probably fit the cord in there a lot more snug. That said, I can probably go find a cord that's designed specifically for this, and maybe that's why they did it from a sales perspective to get people to have to buy that stuff more. Um, but just using a regular, you know, orange extension cord, like outdoor extension cord, you could see it uh, falling off sometimes. So the other thing you could do is just grab a piece of duct tape. And uh, if you're going to be doing extended use, just put it in there, wrap it around twice, and I'm sure it won't go anywhere. Uh, one of the other things, it's definitely kind of bulky. 
Um, so, you know, it might be kind of cumbersome for some smaller people. And the blower, you know, it, it is okay, but it's definitely, it may say 250 miles per hour, but it's definitely nowhere near like my backpack blower, that's for sure. Um, you could tell it couldn't even blow it over like the little 10 inch, uh, little, um, what do you call it, fencing that we have next to the, uh, next to the deck. And even when the leaves were outside, it blew them around, uh, but not extremely well. So that's why I say this is pretty much good for like straightening up a pile, like a pile somebody already made with a blower, and then you just want to get it up together uh, before you start vacuuming up, that sort of thing. Uh, just light kind of blowing off, like if you have the deck and you just got some, you know, a uh, little debris on there, then perhaps you want to just kick this on for a moment uh, and do it that way. And the last negative, of course, it's corded either way. Even if the cord didn't fall out a little bit, um, and it's stuck perfectly, it is corded. So that's definitely a negative because you're only lim you're limited to only as far as you can go with your cord. Now, luckily we have a couple of really long ones so we can reach anywhere in the yard, but still, you know, you're gonna be chucking it around like you do a vacuum in the house, but outside with a lot more cord. Um, so that you gotta keep in mind. All that said, this is only a hundred bucks. It's all electric. So there's really nothing to really do with this whatsoever, but just use it. So that's definitely a positive you know, on the, on the other side. Uh, otherwise, I would say this is definitely a great tool, again, for the vacuuming piece. Now, it didn't do so great trying to pull it out of the concrete um, blocks, but those have, that leaves have also been there all season long, like all winter. Um, so they're really packed down. Uh, you could tell when they were packed down outside next to the gate, uh, it did suck them up, but you kind of had to jostle it around a bit to get it to kind of move into the funnel. Uh, but it did its job. It definitely chopped them all up. Um, so I could definitely say that, you know, if the leaves are freshly raked or something and they're not like, you know, been sitting there for two years, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to vacuum them up. That said, the vacuum does work great. Um, and obviously it makes a lot less mess, uh, in a lot smaller piles of stuff if the leaves are all being mulched up. So that's definitely a great thing. Uh, and it's pretty uh, easy operation. There's just one or two buttons to clip and unclip stuff. There's just a power button with one or with a low and a high mode. And that's pretty much it. Some handles kind of all around here. So, you know, I think this is not a bad tool to have at the house overall. I don't, I'm sure there's other electric ones that do this that may be even better for like 250 or something or whatever, you know, the more you pay, sometimes the better uh, quality or, or features you get. Not always, but sometimes. But for a hundred bucks, it's definitely useful. Um, and again, the, the primary thing with this one is just to suck up some debris uh, laying around or piles when we want to mulch them and stuff. So this is going to do a really good job. And again, no oil, no gas to mix around, no carburetors and stuff to deal with and all that. So I think it's pretty, pretty decent product. It's not the best. It definitely has its faults. Uh, but it can be useful. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And with that said, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's right, subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Help me continue to bring more content like this to all of you. And be sure to hit that like button as well. Just smash it real quick. Even if you think this is a piece of garbage, at least the video kind of helped you determine that. And that's why you should tell YouTube that you like the video. And with that said, I'm going to leave it right here. I appreciate your time. See y'all later.